This is the video review of Surfer Maru from Shuriken Sentai the Ninja. Uh, this is another one of the accessory mecha, and I don't like it as much as Palm Maru, but it is one of the better ones just because it can kind of stand on its own as a toy. Um, in this mode, it's supposed to be like a submarine with like a um, some shark features because it has like these little fins down here, uh, some shark teeth, some eyes, and uh, and, and it does a pretty good job. Like this spins, and it's it's not terrible. It, it looks a little bit weird, but I can dig it. Now, the way this guy transforms is you will pop this guy off, and this guy is a Surfer Maru himself. You rotate his uh, hands down, rotate the head up, and here he is. Now, he has this weird thing where his uh, feet, um, like the tents are here, here, uh, a very weak one here that likes to go into the final detent up here. And the reason why his uh, feet tilt up like that is so he can uh, use this as a surfboard properly. Uh, but for now, we'll just leave him standing right there. Oh yeah, and uh, here's an up close look at him. Um, I like his look, although I wish the purple were a little bit brighter because it's one of those colors where if you're not in a really well lit room, uh, it, it's going to suck up all the light and it's going to be hard to see the detail. Um, I suppose Vildi is, arms can rotate, you can look side to side. Uh, he has hip and knee articulation. Now transform this thing, you're going to fold this up Pull this out, and here it's a surfboard, and you can leave this on here, but it will uh, bend the rubbery plastic on this, so um, you can either keep this out, uh, because it'll be at an angle anyway, or you can just take it off and leave it to the side. And then you'll take Surfer Maru, and this little clip right here will go into that tab here, and now you'll see why his feet are angled like that, so you can... Um, Put him into a surfer pose like that, kinda. And he's pretty okay. I don't mind him too much. Like, I wouldn't pay a full price for him, uh, but like, $10, this isn't a terrible buy. Um, of course, you'll have to pay for a middleman, uh, pay through a middleman, and then pay to have it shipped. So it's gonna be closer to about $40. So at that price, really not worth it by himself. Now, it does combine with both Shuri Kenjin and uh, Bison King. So to do that, we'll just separate this out. Uh, there are some tabs here so that each of them can ride on the uh, surfboard. Um, this tab right here is for a Bison King, you can tell by the head, and this is for Shuri Kenjin, you can tell by the head. So we'll start off with Shuri Kenjin, so we'll leave that one out. So to get this guy ready, we'll just um, put him into a sitting pose, and that's it. Now we'll take in a Shuri Kenjin. We will pop out. We'll pop off the Shuri Ken. We'll pop out a, a Shinobi Maru and put him off to the side. We'll take Surfer Maru and we'll put him in. I'm not going to bother making him hold the controls. Then you'll take this. Now I love this head sculpt, by the way. It's a uh, very mean looking. I like the teeth on it. You'll put the head on like this. So like you said, this is Shurikenjin Surfer, and it's it's okay. It has kind of the problem, the same problem that a lot of the accessory mecha do, where um, it doesn't add more than Shinobi Maru, and it still doesn't fill in the uh, chest area enough for my liking. So he still looks like he's missing a chest plate. Now for the um, uh, surfboard, what you do is, uh, this is at a little bit of an angle to fit the angle that you uh, see on the foot right here, how it's kind of curved. You'll put it, you'll tab it together, and... When you have it, um, he just kind of stands on it. Like, he can't turn his head to look to the side or anything. It's, he just kind of goes, Whee! And it's very underwhelming. So I'm not really in love with the way this guy combines with a, a Shuri Kinjin, especially because, and watch this, it comes undone so easily. And that's just because it's already at an angle here when it's attached to the guy, so it has room to move, and then has room to... Um, Beagle out of the clips. So that's how he combines with uh, Shuri Kinjin. Not really a fan. Uh, I'll put on to the uh, Bison King mode and I'll pull this guy out here and put Shuri Kinjin off to the side. 
Now, Bison King is a little bit interesting because basically what happens is that Surfer Maru is a uh, remold of Rodeo Maru. So that's why he's able to combine with uh, both of them because Rodeo Maru can combine with both of them. And here I have uh, Bison King in, in his official transformation. Um, and that's because we're going to take Rodeo Maru off here. And then we're going to do the same thing to uh, Surfer Maru. So we're going to bring the legs up like that and like that. And then we'll tab him into the uh, body like this. And he will still grab the little handlebars there. Now the uh, head uh, needs to be, um, it can't be like this because it'll get in the way of the uh, faceplate on the shuriken. Uh, so I can't remember if it goes straight up like that or like that or like that. I think it goes like that. So we'll... Actually it um, probably goes, it's one of these ways, um, I'll figure it out. Then you'll pop this on like this, and then there you go. Here is, um, Bison King Surfer, but he says Shuri Kenjin Surfer, that's because it only has one clip and the, um, little nub that, um, activates the sound is, uh, goes on the same side on both, um, uh, figures. So anyway, um, I don't really like this because, again, the uh, dark color for uh, Surfer Maru um, just kind of sucks away the light. And uh, what made Bison King work at all was that this guy was such a light blue to contrast all the uh, dirty brown. And so I'm not really a fan of this. I like that he can do it, but I don't think it does it very well. Then you'll attach this down here, and you get kind of the same problem that you had with uh, Shuri Kenjin, which is where he just kind of stands there and he goes, Whee! Now what's nice about this one is it doesn't just come off, and that's because of the... Uh, well, it did that time, but it's because the foot base here is so wide and the tab goes in vertically, so it doesn't have any room to wobble side to side. So it's it's a bit more stable, although it um it's still not that great. So if you want to get Surfer Maru, get it for Surfer Maru because the combinations really aren't worth it. So anyway, this has been a video review of uh, Surfer Maru and his combinations as Shuri Kenjin Surfer and Bison King Surfer. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I do a lot more stuff like this, Transformers, Power Rangers, Digimon, etc. If any of that sounds interesting, please subscribe and thank you for watching.